I'm Dawn Brady Wimmer. I'm doing Devos with Dawn. It's Wednesday, April 8th. This is the middle of Holy Week in 2020. I'm sitting on my back porch. I'm looking around and loving it because this winter, on those dreary days, I had no idea that there was a miracle waiting to happen that was growing and getting ready for this day. It was all happening under the ground where I couldn't see it. And so I look around and I see daffodils and tulips coming up. I watch as the ferns and the hostas unfurl like the long-awaited verdant banners that they are. I'm grateful for this because earlier I was walking around the neighborhood and one of my neighbors yelled to me that, hey, enjoy it today. It's going to be 40 something tomorrow in the next several days. Really? That's very hard to take. And I think this 24 hour slice is not just glorious and warm and it's not just disappointing and cold. It's both and. And that makes me think about how we might all be feeling these days. Sometimes we're anxious and other times we're trusting. Sometimes impatient and then maybe compassionate. We might be fear filled or hopeful. We might be grieving what was or excited about what might be. We might become aware of death and then reminded of new life. We're never just one or the other. We are both and. Sometimes in the same hour or the same five minutes. I want to give us grace and permission to be that kind of complicated. We are. We look at Holy Week and think about the both and of Holy Week. I've been tracking the the steps of Jesus ever since last week when we we talked about and Jesus turned his face toward Jerusalem and this week I think oh we started with Palm Sunday where the crowds were in an uproar of positive thinking and feeling and waving about Jesus and then the next thing that happens in the book of Matthew is Jesus goes into the temple and he he's angry and he cleans out the temple we have talk of Jesus as an authority like they've never seen before. And then he talks of his impending death. Jesus is an advocate for the poor, and yet he accepts this costly anointing of oil from a woman who cried on his feet and dried his feet with her hair. He says, love God with your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. He's called teacher and rabbi, and he's the one who will wash the feet of his disciples when we talk about Monday, Thursday, tomorrow night. We are not just one or the other. We are not as polarized in our emotions as we are in our country right now. I would like to encourage us to Give ourselves some grace when we are feeling anxious and hopeful. It doesn't mean we're crazy. It just means we're living on this continuum of grace. And when we've slid more toward the side that is painful, grace comes and walks alongside of us and says, peace, be still. Know that I am God. When we are anxious or grieving, we can hear the words, I will never leave you alone. And then we are called toward the heart of God, where there is trust and compassion and hope and new life. So, in the darkness of the next few days, when the cold comes back in and we want to despair, let's let it just carry us into the darkness with Jesus. Let's go into the Thursday night and the abandonment and the Friday and the crucifixion. Let's linger there knowing that we are both and. We are going to grieve. And when we've grieved deeply, we will celebrate joyfully and completely. Let's continue to walk with Jesus in this Holy Week, on this glorious day, and on days 
that are darker and colder and a little harder to see because grace will come and get you.